Media carousels are one of Protosphere's core features that make it easy for people within the virtual environment to share information with each other. Team members can add documents, images, audio and video files, and even access files that are stored in Microsoft SharePoint. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how easy it is to configure a media carousel to display SharePoint documents. Here you can see I have a pretty typical SharePoint site set up. With this particular team site template that I used, SharePoint gave me a single document library here on the left labeled Shared Documents. And in this example, you can see that I've already have a handful of documents placed in here. It's important to point out that we've developed Protosphere's media carousels to talk directly to these document libraries. What I need to do first is copy the base URL of my SharePoint site. I make sure I only grab the folder path and not the default ASPX file. Now I have to go back into Protosphere and add that URL to the carousel. Right click on the carousel's header and choose the configure option. In the web URL field, paste the URL that you just copied and click the set button. The library name dropdown will populate with all the document libraries that exist in that SharePoint site. In this particular example, only the one I have in there, called Share Documents, is what shows up. If you happen to use any special views in your SharePoint document library, you can also choose one here in this dropdown. But for the sake of this video, I'll just leave it as the default view of all documents. I'll assign the carousel a title, and then click the Apply button. Now, all the content from that document library gets displayed in the carousel. If I want to view a particular document, all I need to do is scroll to it, click on its icon, and it'll open in its native application. Access to these files will remain persistent in the carousel until I either remove it or reconfigure it. Additionally, any changes to the files made on the SharePoint site, whether that be editing them, adding new ones, or deleting them, will automatically be updated here in the carousel. Well, that's about all I wanted to cover here in this Feature Peak video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in world.